Hi everyone, in this video, we are going to look how you can both install and use Mendeley Reference Manager with Microsoft 2016 and above. Mendeley Reference Manager is the updated version of the previous Mendeley desktop with little modification of its interface but with more useful features. It is an open source software provided by Elsevier and a very important tool for citing and managing your references in your document with easier and formal way. First, let's download the software. Open your browser and write Mendeley.com. Then go to the official website. I will also put the link. Find it in the description below. Click here the download button. Now, as you can see, this software is available for Windows, Mac OS and Linux operating systems. The interesting thing of this software is it is also completely free. You can download any one of those. I am using a Windows machine. So for Windows, click this and it will start automatically to download. It is about 144 megabyte file. So wait until it finishes downloading. After the download finishes, install it to your machine. To use Mendeley Reference Manager, you need first have to register. To do so, you can proceed the steps here or go to the previous Mendeley Reference Manager official website, which I provide the link in the description below and click here, create account. Those are the same. So create your account here. To show it for you, I'm going to create a new account. For example, write an email here or I own medley at provide all the necessary information here your name any password that you will not forget with those instructions it needs at least a minimum of eight characters with at least one number and a mix of one lowercase and a purchase letters with also one symbol and this will make your password strong after creating a strong password you can click register but since i have already an account i'm going to sign in using my previous account. After successfully registering your account, open your Mendeley Reference Manager app and sign in with your account. Write your email address here, press continue, then write your password here, then press sign in. Now you will successfully sign in to your Reference Manager software. Since you are coming to the first time, this interface with a bunch of references will not come up to you. It is because of that I was using it previously but don't worry i will show you how to set up it to use with microsoft word 2016 and above completely now let's set up our software to use it with microsoft word guys make sure that you are connected to the internet click the tools menu right above here then click install Mendeley web importer now click get web importer for chrome then click add to chrome then click add extension here you can see the Mendeley extension icon included. Click here and click on the Mendeley Wave Importer extension icon. Now refresh your browser and click on the Mendeley Wave Importer icon. Here you can pin or unpin the icon. Click on the icon and sign in with your Mendeley Reference Manager account. Give your email address and password correctly then press sign in now we have successfully downloaded the Mendeley wave importer chrome extension which can enable us to import references directly from the web next let's install the Mendeley microsoft plugin to integrate it with our microsoft word before that let's open your microsoft word and inside the reference menu and see what is inside the reference menu here as you can see there is nothing related to Mendeley Reference Manager. Now click the Tools menu and click Install Mendeley Site for Microsoft Word and follow the prompts. Now click here, get it now. Now click Open in Word. Click Open Word. Wait until it opens in your Microsoft Word. Okay, here it is. The Mendeley Site plugin is opened in Microsoft Word and in the right top corner, you can see that Mendeley Site included. Now click it. Here it says Add in Error. 
with restart it and try again. After that, click get started. Register it with the same account for our Mendeley reference manager. Mine is this one. Give the same password and then sign in. Okay, now we successfully integrated our Mendeley reference manager with Microsoft Word. The next step is how to use this reference manager to simplify our reference management technique in Microsoft Word using a sample paragraph. Now open your Mendeley reference manager and its interface looks like this. Make sure that you are signed in to your account. To the left side, you can see those menus and here is the add button. It is where you can add your new reference lists. First of all, you should know which reference you want to include to your document. Here inside the collections menu, you can see that new collection. Those are my previous reference folders. You may only see this one, new collection. So click it to create a new folder in which you can populate all your references inside. Let's give a name for the folder, my reef, and press enter. Here it is. Now it is a newly created folder. So inside this folder, you can populate or import all your references which you want to include in your particular document or report. There are various ways to import your references to Mendeley. One option is importing the PDF files directly into Mendeley. To do this, make your new folder in the Mendeley, that is mine is my reef, and make it active by clicking on it and then find your file and drag it to Mendeley or you can click add new and browse your file from your drive and press open then it will upload your PDF file to your Mendeley software. At the bottom it shows you the uploading status then when uploading is finished now here is your reference. Click it and see the info tab here as you can see all the fields are automatically filled. Here are the authors you can see all by see more and this is a journal it also shows the abstract and all any necessary fields are filled automatically. Here you can also add your own citation key. For example, I can write it like CHO2020. If you find any missed fields, you can even write by yourself. These fields are editable. You can make your reference favorites by clicking this one and find it in your favorites tab. As you can see this marked in the favorites tab. In the second option, you can import reference directly from the web. To do so, find your reference in the internet using your browser. I'm using the Chrome browser. While you are in the page, click your Chrome web importer extension here and sign in using it. Then it shows you different alternatives for the type of your reference. For example, this is a journal. So a journal article is automatically selected, but if it is not, you can select the other one and select this. But this is correct. Select the article and then select the folder to which you want to populate your reference. For example, I want to populate this reference to my reef folder just I created. Then click the add button. Now switch to your main layup and you can find that your reference being listed here in my reef folder. And inside the info menu, you can see that all the fields are automatically filled. Its title is this one and the authors are those and this is the journal name and the date. Here also I can edit if there is a missed information. For example, I can add citation K here is OU 2008 and press enter. If the PDF is available, it can automatically upload to your Mendeley application. For example, this reference has not a PDF attached but it has only the field if you click this plus button, there is no PDF or it shows you here at the right end this symbol. For example, the second reference has a PDF. So if you want to read it, you can open by clicking this file and read it directly in your Mendeley software. Third option, you can find the citation files like the Bible text file, the endnote file or the RIS files and import directly to your Mendeley. To do so, find your 
your appropriate reference in the internet and download those citation files. The Bible text, the end note in the Riffman. Click it to download it to your computer, any one of those. Then go to your Mendeley application and click it, add new, or you can go to the folders which contains your citation files. Then you can either drag and drop to your Mendeley app or you can click here the add new button and then import library then, then select the one and browse the file then click open here as you can see that one reference is generated but here it is not listed in my riffs folder click it all references but here you can see that it is listed here in all references so in order to populate it to my folder select it and go to organize then add to collection then select the folder to which you want to populate now select add again go to your folder then now it is successfully included in the force option you can manually edit the fields yourself in the Mendeley software while your folder is being active click the add new button again and click add entry manual and write all for example the type of your reference if it is book conference journal it's select from the drop down menu here so it is journal and write the title copy it here then write the authors but this process is tedious if you can get the metadata by using this digital object identification number you can search those identifiers then press search as you can see that the metadata found so all the fields are directly filled here. Write yourself if there is a correction. Here it automatically filled the metadata, making sure that all the fields are filled. Press Add Entry. Now again, in the All Reference menu here, you can see that it is included. Click it and click Organize then add to collection after that select my reef the folder you want to populate it then after that press add then it is automatically added to my folder so you can see it is included here with all the fields being filled okay in those four ways you can import your reference to your Mendeley application here at the left bottom corner you can see that the groups menu in which you can create shared reference lists particularly important for collaborative works here you can filter your references by the authors or giving tag names for each reference you can also search for a particular reference for a specific reference in your folder by writing some letters of the author you can search for the reference of your interest here in the info tab of each reference you can see that if the files are included or not there is no PDF included it says that get a PDF for example click it if you are online you can also open your Mendeley library by writing Mendeley library and searching using your browser here it is with the same interface as the software you install to your computer if you want to remove a reference from your library just select it and press delete here at the bottom after importing the reference to Mendeley the next task is to cite it in your document to do so go to your reference tab in your Microsoft Word and press Mendeley site now put your cursor to where you want to put your citation after that click the reference menu here at the right and select your reference for example I populated all my references to my reference folder and select the folder after that select the specific reference then click insert citation it automatically inserts the citation to your document it is a very time saving activity you can also select multiple references at a time like this and then click insert citation as you can see it automatically inserts your citation to your document or report in this way you can insert all your citations using a time saving technique to generate the reference list at the end of your document put your cursor to where you want to generate the bibliography or the reference list apply one it to be here refer 
reference to be here then press site mainly in the reference menu of microsoft word here in the main list sub menu click those three dots or the more button then click insert bibliograph then press continue it automatically generates your reference of your bibliography you can also change the reference citation style by clicking here again then citation settings then click change citation then click the citation style you want it to be for example if i want die triple e style i click it and press update citation style so you can see it changes the citation from apa to i triple e with a click you can make any changes to your reference or citation and come to mainly site then click this press update from library it updates all the current changes thanks for watching if you get something important from this video do not forget to like and subscribe visit also the description below for important links